Hello class, it's Mr. Ng, and I want to walk you through your lab for the day. Here, the crux of our lab is going to be milk of magnesia. This is the stuff that you would take when you have a stomach ache. You know, like you ate something and it really messed you up, all that stomach acid is eating you up from the inside. You give yourself milk of magnesia, a wonderful buffer, and it should neutralize those acids. So um, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need uh, a beaker of water. Notice that it, oh, this is vinegar. A beaker of water. Notice that I only have around 125 mils. You're going to need a stir rod. These are the little white things. And um, we're going to use the hot plates again because I want us to start um, understanding how to use it because we do have a titration coming up. Uh, we're going to be using universal indicator. Notice that I put it into this uh, beaker. That way, we don't need to touch the stock. I just have the bottle out. But don't, don't pull from the stock. We want to keep the stock nice and clean. All right, so that away. And then some vinegar. And I've already poured myself around maybe 70 mils of vinegar. And this, this is more than enough. So uh, here's what you do. Start by grabbing your water, around 125, 150 mils, and then put in a splash of um, the milk of magnesia. Uh, be very careful when you get the milk of magnesia. You got to shake it up a little bit. It's a uh, suspension. So eventually, it does settle down to the bottom. And number two, you, you don't need a lot of it. The more you put in, the more alcohol, I mean, not alcohol, um, acid you're going to need to um, neutralize it. So I'm going to put in a splash. Good. And this cloudy white color is what we're looking for. Just a splash. That's all you need. right? You don't, you don't need to eat up all the milk and that nature. And then finally, uh, we are going to need uh, just one squirt of this universal indicator. Okay. You don't have to do this yourself. You could just have Mr. Whitrock uh, give each of you a squirt. And that should be good. Okay. So with the universal indicator, as you can see, um, our solution is kind of bluish purple. Let's give it a stir. Here, I'm going to put it on my plate. I'm going to turn on, the, oops, sorry. I'm going to put in the stir rod. And then I'm going to turn it on. Be careful not to stir too quickly. If you stir too quickly, then uh, the color change happens too fast and you don't get to see all the neatness that occurs, right? So like, notice that that's, that's, that's too much. That's right. Okay, so now all you got to do is put in a little bit of vinegar at a time. So I'm going to start with one squirt. Notice the color. It's purple right now, meaning it's a base. Put in a squirt. It goes from pink to yellow to green back to purple. Right? We put in some acid. You see the acid turn the stuff red, and then it pulls it back to purple. That's one squirt. And then two squirts. You gotta wait for it, be patient for the color to go back. Three squirts. And then as you do this, I want you to take good notes. Notice the color, notice what's happening. Right? And then eventually, when you get towards the end of it, um, you're gonna notice two things occur. Uh, you're gonna notice that the suspension goes away. It's no longer cloudy. It's gonna be kind of a clear liquid. And um, instead of being blue, it's gonna end up being kind of um, yellowish, pinkish. Uh, meaning we got rid of the suspension, and now we have this solution that's a little bit more acidic. What are you going to do with all this information? Well, uh, your job is to make a model. I want you to try to figure out what in the world is happening uh, using the chemical uh, formula. Um, how is this shifting back and forth as the color change, and what's the final product um, in, in this uh, little reaction that we're observing? When you're done, of course, um, put everything away, get everything nice and neat. I don't think I need to uh, go uh, too far into that. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Mm.